Hi there, in this um, Moodle video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a quick survey or a handy little sign up form using the choice module in um, Moodle. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you are logged in, you need to navigate your way to your course that you want to work in and then you need to choose, um, you need to make sure that your editing is switched on in the top right hand corner and then you need to choose the section that you want to put your little quick um, survey or sign up form in. So we're going to put it up the top here. If you um, click on the down arrow under add an activity, select choice. This is a really basic um, tool that allows you to um, give students a series of choices that, um, that they can choose, hence the, the name choice. So. Um, my little quick survey might be what is your favourite fruit and if there was any instructions we, um, we put them in here and then we give them some choices. Now there is a, um, a way that you can limit the number, say you only want five people to choose each fruit, you could say enable the limit the numbers. This is particularly handy if you want to use it as a means of signing up people to groups, but we're going to disable that. And so option one might be banana, apple, orange, and when we finish putting in our choices, we simply scroll down and we can open and close it for a limited amount of time, save and return to course. And there we have a little question popping up there. If you're a student, you'd click on that. You'd have the choices come up and you'd make your choice. So I might select banana, save my choice. OK, and then um, you can see the responses by clicking there. So Mrs Amos, she wants a banana. OK, so to show you another way that you might like to use this, for example, if we go back to the course up here, Love English AM, I might want to use this to get students to sign up for groups. So simply click on Choice and might be groups for a study, um, and you might tell them to join a group, and you might want to this time enable the limit the number because you want all the groups to have a maximum of five students. So you put five next to the limit, and you give the groups a title. Oops. And then if we scroll down, save and return to course. This is a really handy way to get students to sign themselves up into groups. So they'd simply click on the groups button, choose the group of their choice, save their choice, and then you and the other class can see who is joining which group. And they simply sign themselves up that way. So that could be um, a really handy little tool to use. So I hope that's helpful.